So I'm cruising along in my 2012 Honda Civic going 70 miles an hour. Eco mode's on, air conditioning's on, fan setting one, and engine spinning at 3,000 RPM. I must be doing something wrong, right? Well, I'm in fifth gear, I don't have a sixth, and there's nothing else I can do other than slow down. So why is this thing revving so high? I must be wasting a ton of fuel. When I bought this 2012 Honda Civic, I was an undergrad and I just needed to get to school and home for not a lot of money. So I had three goals for the car. I wanted something reliable, something fuel efficient, and something that wasn't a total snooze to drive. That's why I opted for a five-speed manual. But one thing has bothered me since day one. This car revs very high on the highway. Now, it's not overly noisy or anything, but for a car designed primarily for economy, I thought it's a bit weird. So I did some research online and didn't really come up with much. So how much fuel am I wasting at 3000 RPM on the highway? Should I have gotten the automatic? Now you might say, well, it's got a small four cylinder engine. Of course it has to rev high on the highway. The problem is, the automatic version of the Civic has the same engine and it revs almost a thousand RPM lower. And you might argue the automatic has more gears, but nope, they both have five. So the fix is simple. This car needs a six gear, but the European ninth gen Civic has six gears and has the same engine. And guess what it revs on the highway? That's right. It's six gear is equivalent to this car's fifth. So how wasteful is this higher RPM on the highway? Well, to find out, I have just the thing. You see, here is a 2013 Honda Civic. Now, it may look a lot nicer on the outside and the inside, but under the hood is the same R18 Z1 engine. The difference? This five-speed automatic, and it revs almost a thousand RPM lower on the highway. All right, so resetting trip on the manual Civic. Eco mode is on, air conditioning is on, fan level one, because it is a bit toasty outside. And let's hit the highway. So we're at 35 miles an hour and I'm already in fifth gear. So that just gives you a sense for how short the gears are in this car. So 70 miles an hour, cruise control set, eco mode on, and just a tick over 3000 RPM. So let's see how we do in terms of fuel economy. Alright, so we're just exiting the highway in the manual Civic, about 21 miles at 3000 RPM, and the dash says 42.4 MPG. That's pretty good. So we're going to do a short city section, and then we'll jump back on the highway and see how we do on the return. so we've done 44 miles and we've got 39.4 mpg it's a little bit of an uphill on the way back so i think we lost uh, well about one mile per gallon and uh it's time to try with the automatic all right it's time to see how the automatic civic does so i guess let's find out don't need to shift gears here car takes care of that for us All right, so as before, we reset the trip. Eco mode is on, and let's get on the highway and see how this car does. So, like before, 40 miles an hour, we're already in fifth gear, and our RPM's about <clears throat> 1,400. I mean, that's a huge decrease from the manual car. It's quite impressive. But let's see how we do when we actually get up to highway speed. So 
So one thing you notice right off the bat with this taller gear ratio is that there's not a lot of power here in fifth gear. I'm putting my foot down, you know, reasonably hard and not much is happening. I mean, we are getting up to speed, but it's noticeably slower than the manual car. All right, 70 miles an hour set on the cruise control and we're looking at 2200 RPM. Eco mode is on and we have the AC on fan level one. So let's see how we do. So we're just getting off the highway in the automatic Civic. We've done 21 miles at about 2200 RPM. And the fuel economy readout, 45 MPG. So we're about 2.6 MPG better in the automatic versus the manual. Now that's nothing to write home about, but it's defi definitely significant. All right, so we're just pulling in to the parking lots and we've done 44 miles and our fuel economy 40.4 exactly one mile per gallon better in the automatic car i thought it would be more to be honest so what are the takeaways well the manual car yeah it revs high on the highway but it returns decent fuel economy about one mile per gallon less than the automatic it has more torque on hills and you don't need to downshift to pass anyone. On the other hand, the automatic keeps the RPM a lot lower, about 800 RPM at 70 miles an hour. And it makes the car nicer to drive. You don't hear the engine screaming away under the hood. The trade-off? Yeah, this thing's a snooze on the highway. If you wanna pass, you need to downshift and that's gonna burn a lot more fuel. So today the automatic wins. On a back road or when it's a nice day, I take the manual. But the results are closer than I expected. So let me know what you think in the comments below and like and subscribe.